What's up my Yugi bros, it's Connor. Little disclaimer before we start this video, this week's weekly giveaway items are three packs of Scars of Battle. All you have to do to enter said giveaway is both like this video and all other videos with the weekly giveaway item on the sidebar of said video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already of course, and last but not least, answer the daily question provided that is randomly placed in each video promoting said giveaway. But with that out of the way, now back to your regularly scheduled content. What's up Yugi bros? Before we begin, uh, I just want to know, do you guys like this setup better with the sidebar now as a bottom bar instead, or do you prefer the sidebar uh, view that we have in the um, other videos or in this intro of this video? Uh, just leave a comment down below, I'd like to know. Um, actually, you know what? Let's make that the question of the day for this video. Uh, do you like this setup better, where we have the bar on the bottom versus the side, or do you prefer the sidebar? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, this video, I wanted to actually go in depth on what my top five uh, favorite slash, uh, to me, most important cards are from Twisted Nightmares. So without further ado, let's dim the lights, so to speak. There we go. And let's go into the first card. That, of course, nets you said card. Uh, Supply Squad is a continuous spell from uh, Twisted Nightmares that says once per turn if a monster or monsters you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, draw one card. So what I really like about this is that it doesn't matter if you destroy your cards or your opponent does, uh, you're still going to get a card regardless. So if you guys have seen uh, from previous videos I've had up where uh, you might destroy your own cards to net you something, uh, you get an extra effect of drawing a card, which is really nice. I think this card's really good. Um, when this card originally released in uh, regular Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, it was super sought after, even though it didn't see too, too much play. Uh, best things, I think, at the time were like scraps or something. Um, but this card does give you advantage. And in Speed Duels with a 20-card deck, you have a lot of e easier ways to hit your cards already. So having this in the deck to add more... Uh, consistency to your deck just in my opinion like makes it flourish even more than it already is uh, so I really think this card uh, definitely deserves its spot in speed duels in regular Yu-Gi-Oh it kind of fizzled out pretty quickly um, but in speed duels I think this will last for a very long time I think this card will see a lot of play moving forward and it helps it helps most mostly it helps rogue decks because the regular tier 1 decks have enough firepower to get away or get by on their own, but Supply Squad gives you uh, the extra draw ability basically in something like Tier 2 or Tier 3 that maybe the deck didn't have before, so it's really cool that it gives uh, Rogue decks some extra, some extra chances. The next card on my list is Santa Claus, and I kind of tack Lava Golem on here as well, but I think this is more generic, so this is why this one's on the list over uh, Golem. Uh, 1225, you can special summon this card from your hand to your opponent's field in defense position by tributing one monster they control. So it's a kaiju in speed duels. It's a kaiju with a bit of a downside. Uh, if it's summoned this way during the end phase of the turn, you can draw one card. That effect applies to the opponent because it's on their field when that happens. Uh, so they get to draw one card, and this has to go in defense mode at 2500 defense, so it's obviously worse than something like let's say a game of seal or whatever but it gives you uh, a way to out anything on your opponent's field especially cards that say they can't be destroyed either by battle or card effects this way this or or something that could you know you know survive through something like through a card effect at least this lets you just outright get rid of the card uh, without wasting your normal summon lava golem you have to waste your normal summon to use it or you can't normal summon the same turn you summon lava golem and, but Lava Golem does have the upside of uh, a burn ability, and it takes out two monsters instead of one, but I think Santa Claus' versatility uh, gives you just so much more options. I was actually a little surprised to see both come in at the same time. I figured when they announced Lava Golem originally, we wouldn't see a Kaiju-esque card uh, for a little bit more, and I actually thought Volcanic Queen would be the first one we'd get, not Santa Claus. But I do like that Santa Claus exists in the game, and then 25 defense can work to your advantage with something like Amazon of Swordswoman, for example. So I do really like this card, and that's why it comes in at number 4 on this list. My number 3 is Zoma the Spirit. Now, this was kind of a shock to me. I didn't expect Burn to get such a heavy hitter of a card. 
Uh, this is a trap monster. It says, uh, special summon this card in defense position as an effect monster. Zombie Dark, level 4, 1800 attack, 500 defense. This card is still treated as a trap. So even though you have this out as a monster, it's still occupying a trap zone as well. So do keep in mind of that. Uh, if this card, summoned this way, is destroyed by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the monster that destroyed it. This is outrageous. Uh, especially in speed duels, because you only have 4,000 life points. So if you ram this into a, let's say, Blue Eyes White Dragon, for example, uh, you may take 1,200 in the process, but they're taking 3,000 to the face. Even better, if this card is destroyed in defense mode, you're not hopefully losing any life points unless they do piercing, uh, and then you're inflicting that monster's attack back to them that destroyed it. So this card has a lot of resources. What I also like about this card is that it's 1800. In Speedles we don't have too many 1800 monsters. You can play this in almost anything and just have it be a beat stick but has the upside of also giving you an extra bonus effect when it's a robot battle. The downside I feel to it however is there is a lot of spell and trap hate in the game currently that can out this. Uh, Twister, for example, is a really good option, but of course there's also Double Cyclone, and there's also Dice Foon, and there's other things as well. Um, so you do have to keep in mind that this is susceptible to more than just monster destruction. But this card is still very powerful, and can wall for a bit if your opponent can't out it and doesn't want to take life point damage. The card is all around really good, and I definitely think it's a fantastic addition to Speed Duels, and a scary one at that. Coming in at number 2, I have Gap the Divine Soldier. Now, I haven't done too too much of this with this card on my channel as of yet, but this card is definitely a force to be reckoned with. At 1 tribute, it says all monsters are changed to face-up attack position, also their battle positions cannot be changed, and flip effects are not activated at this time. So you can get around stupid things like Man Eater Bug, Old Vindictive Magician, uh... Dekoichi actually gets its effect negated, so it can't draw a card. There's a lot of applications for that. This also says, once per turn, you can reveal any number of fiend-type monsters in your hand. This card gains 300 attack for each until the end phase. So, in a fiend deck, this thing can get really big for one tribute. But the big thing about this card that makes this card so powerful, in my opinion, is it changes everything to face-up attack position, and stuff is just stuck like that. And you have a, at minimum, 2200 beat stick that can get over most things that are in attack mode, especially if they were in defense mode already. Uh, but also, if you have any other monsters, especially big beefy beat sticks, uh, this card does a lot of damage. I've actually seen this card teched in a few um, Blade Turbo Warrior decks, and I think that's probably the best spot for it currently. I remember doing uh, the initial reveal video and seeing this card and being shocked that this was in here. Uh, I don't think it's overpowered for speed duels at all, but I do think this card is definitely powerful uh, in the right deck. So that's why I have it come in at my number two slot. And if you guys haven't guessed by now, my number one is Offerings to the Doomed. The quick play spell that says target one face-up monster on the field, destroy that target, also skip your next draw phase. This card is bonkers. Hopefully you've seen enough of my videos now to understand why this card is bonkers, but if not... Let me go over a few things. Number one, it's a quick play spell card. So you can use it on your turn or your opponent's turn. It gets rid of any target monster. As long as you can target a monster, it gets rid of it. Destroys it outright. Speedles hasn't had something like this yet. Like this type of spot removal. And I expected us to get something like Sakuretsu armor as a more generic option in the beginning. But the downside to Sakuretsu is it has to be when an opponent attacks. It, ha it is a trap card so there are a lot of ways to destroy it. But no, we got a quick play that doesn't have to be when a monster attacks. We can get rid of anything on the field whenever we want. This card combos really well with Supply Squad. Uh, if you can't, if you have to skip your draw phase, but you have Supply Squad out and something dies, you get to draw anyway. So it didn't even arguably matter. Uh, this card, being a quick play, lets you play it during your battle phase from your hand. So essentially, if your opponent doesn't know or thinks you don't have an out, you you have a your monsters swing into their weaker monsters, and then you want to try to go for game, but there's one big wall in the way. You activate offerings to the doomed, and it gets rid of that monster, and you can just swing in for game. It gets rid of walls like Metal Reflex Slime and Zoma the Spirit, which are two problematic things right now. Zoma way more so than Metal, but still, there are numerous different things you can do with this card and it not being a trap lets you use it on your turn it you being able to use it on your turn 
It's just kind of shocking to me that we got this in speed. I thought this would be too good for a while. Uh, I, I could think of a lot of, like, you know, watered-down versions of this card that I figured we'd get before this. We actually got Tribute to the Doomed in this same set, which is a normal spell that says discard a card, target a monster on the field, and destroy it. To me, I felt that was justified for speed duels, but not a quick play version of that, that instead of discarding, you just have to skip your draw phase. Uh, if you have the advantage already, the draw phase isn't even the end of the world. So that's why Offerings to the Doomed is my number one. But I've definitely raved in most of my videos that it's played in. That I think that card is probably the best card in Speed Duels currently. And that's a stance I'll definitely stand by. Like, it gets rid of Relinquished, which is obviously a problem a lot of the time. It gets rid of uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, which is now new and sometimes can be a problem. If your opponent sticks a Lava Golem on your field and is about to burn you for game, you can destroy it on your field so you don't have to take that burn damage. Uh, being able to target either side of the field is also ridiculous. You can net yourself extra plays uh, by destroying some, some of your monsters, giving yourself other power-ups depending on how you know your deck plays or your field is presented. Uh, there's, just, there's just so many applications, and I was scared when I first saw that this was going to be in the game. I'm even more scared now after playtesting it and playing it in almost everything. Uh, it's definitely a force to be reckoned with. Um, it, this also got... Th this card allows people to stop having to play Eradicating Aerosol and Hidden Parasite because before that was like you're only out to like destroying monsters. Uh, but now we can play this card in our deck instead and then play a skill that actually either helps our deck or does something else like inner conflict or something so we're not stuck on playing the parasite uh, and the uh, the eradicating aerosol so this card has just single-handedly one up uh, one of the greatest skills from last format and also just in general became one of the most powerful cards speed duels has ever seen so that's why it's number one on this list. But guys, do you like, love, or hate my choices? Would you change, sub out any of the ones that I've said? Is there something I missed? Please let me know in the comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please click that notification bell to get all of our latest updates. If you like my content or like what you see, please feel free to go check out my Facebook page. I just started doing stuff on that. I have little uh, polls that I'm doing. Uh, I'm new to it, so bear with me. Sometimes I don't always post on it, but I'm trying to get to that. Uh, if you want to also check out the Twitch and the Patreon, the Twitch channel will eventually have a stream schedule for the week, and the Patreon will eventually be updated. Don't worry, I have major, major plans for it. But as always, until we meet again, Yugi Bros out.